Parents in the Kansas City School District had the first chance tonight to weigh in on a plan to close some high schools. KCTV5's Betsy Webster caught up with a few of them at an open house on the plans to improve the district. Betsy, remind us why they are considering this. Well, at the, the root problem is a decline in enrollment that's been going on for several years. Uh, Southeast High School here behind me is a stark example of that with fewer than 500 students. They've had to cancel the football program because they don't have enough students to field a team. And it's not just about athletics. The district is seeking input on priorities for ways to improve student experience. One piece involves consolidating high schools. Spark Bookhart had one child graduate from a KCPS school, but then he pulled the others. We talk about buildings, we talk about sports programs, we talk about extracurricular, but nobody wants to talk about, you know, the work, the real hard work that we have to do to increase academic outcomes for our children. But Superintendent Mark Bedell says the goal is just that, partly by keeping good teachers from leaving. So I don't want art teachers and PE teachers and music teachers having to drive to multiple schools. Which they currently do. It gives us more stability. It also gives us an opportunity to have assurances that we can have a robust offering of, of, of courses. They can offer more at schools like East and Lincoln, which have more than a thousand students, as opposed to schools like Southeast, which have half as many kids. I work in Hickory Mills and you know they have one high school. KCPS currently has seven high schools, and lots of kids leave the district after elementary. 37% of final year grade schoolers transfer out, according to the district. Retention varies greatly by what high school they feed to, with Northeast and East the best for neighborhood schools, and Central and Southeast the worst. You have to do something to entice the parents or the students to stay in the district. That Paseo Academy parent is for putting all schools on equal footing, but wants to be sure it's done right. My biggest fear is the overcrowding. The teachers union president says that doesn't have to be the case. We have the staff, we have the space. We need to be strategic in what buildings we're using and, and how we move our and utilize our staff. And nothing is close to final yet. They are still in that early stage of getting input from stakeholders. Live in Kansas City, Missouri, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. A lot to discuss. Thank you, Betsy. Now, if you missed today's meeting, there is another one tomorrow on Zoom, and it's in Spanish. The other in-person meetings are happening on Wednesday at Central Middle School and on Friday at Hale Cook Elementary.